CHKD is changing its policy for hospital visitors as a surge in seasonal respiratory viruses continues. 10 on your side, Stephanie Hudson has the latest on who is affected and the severity of the spread. Until further notice, no visitors under 12 years old will be allowed inside CHKD is to help keep those little ones from spreading their germs to the sickest kids. Children, as you know, are sort of the vectors of a lot of these illnesses. Anybody who has a child in daycare knows that and it's hard for those children to keep their hands to themselves. Dr. Christopher Foley says the new policy is consistent with a lot of other children's hospitals across the country as they've witnessed a steady increase in RSV cases since October and now they're seeing flu cases as well. It's really nothing to panic the public. We're going to have people get the care they need no matter what they may wait in the ER a little longer. Dr. Foley said they've always seen a surge in winter months, but numbers this year and last year have been higher than the traditional norm because of COVID. During the pandemic, everyone wore masks and kids were not exposed to these illnesses. And so we're seeing a lot of those kids still coming to the emergency department for the first time with illnesses that in the past they might have already weathered once and now have some immunity to. There is no current shortage of hospital beds, but wait times in the ER and at urgent care facilities is high, especially after school between 4 o'clock and midnight. To cut down on the overcrowding, doctors remind most children can be treated for cold-like symptoms at home with Tylenol, rest, and plenty of fluids. Seek help immediately, however, if your child ever has trouble breathing, is not eating, drinking, or sleeping. But any of these folks who are having trouble doing their normal stuff, sleeping, huffing and puffing, breathing real fast, when you're just sitting there holding them, they seem to be making noise, breathing, those are things that should be alerting. The doctors hope the spread of these respiratory illnesses will settle down sometime this spring and they can reopen the doors to all those brothers, sisters, and little visitors. In Norfolk, Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.